Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Martin. Today we're excited to announce Remnote 1.14, which makes it easier to create and organize your cards. There's a lot to cover, so let's jump into it. First, you can now use AI to help you write the definitions of your cards. Just write out the question or concept name on your card, then write out your delimiter, either the double equal sign or whatever you're using, and you'll see that a definition automatically appears on the back. You can just press tab to autocomplete that and then edit it however you would like. Definitions are personalized to your current knowledge and notes. For example, if I go and write out DNA here, you'll see that it expresses it as a molecule. And when I press tab, it'll automatically link to my existing card for molecule here. This works even across documents, folders, or anywhere in your knowledge base. Next, we've added multiple choice cards. Create one by typing the front of your card, such as what is a cell, then typing either slash multiple choice or by typing your double right arrow A and then a right parenthesis as if you're writing out the first of the answers here. You can then add your first correct answer and then as many incorrect answers as you would like. When you're practicing, the answers will be randomly shuffled to ensure a good practice experience. We recommend these cards if you're studying from a specific question bank, but otherwise still recommend the free response cards in most cases to improve your memory. Next, we've added a new nicer preview button. If you go to the back of any card, you can see the new preview button here. Clicking it will show you a preview that looks exactly the same as how the card will appear when practicing to help you know what your testing experience will be like. We've also added an easier way to switch between card types and configure your cards. Just click on the arrow here to either switch between single line, multi-line, etc., change the direction of your card, or to enable or delete your card entirely. To make it easier to add cards, we've also added this new toolbar at the bottom. Here you can see the different card types that we offer, as well as some other features such as tables, headers, and to-dos. You can collapse the floating toolbar up or down, depending on your need. We've also added minimal worksheets to make it easier for you to learn how to create cards. If you go and create a new document, you can see the options here, where you can either create bulleted notes as normal. You can create a document without any bullets at all, just for normal prose or nicely formatted text. You can create a simple to-do list, or you can explore a few options for basic cards, or concept cards. We'll guide you through this step by step if you try it out on your account. That's it for easy card creation. We've also added new features to make it easier to organize your cards and notes. First, we've added an explicit folder. Here, you can create a folder, for example, for all of your classes, and then go ahead and nest sub documents or subfolders directly inside. The new folder UI makes it easy to create both documents and folders, but also eventually coming soon to add exams or to upload PowerPoints, PDFs, and more. The folders and documents come with new, fresher looking icons, which you can pick from here, or which you can pick from directly on the sidebar. You'll also notice that we've completely revamped how the sidebar looks and feels. It has a nicer new set of icons, a more compact layout, it works better on mobile, and in general, just looks a lot nicer. Third, we've added a new set of in-app tutorials to make it easier for you to learn how to organize your notes and knowledge and use RemNote effectively. If you ever want to figure out how to do something, you can simply click in the search box at the bottom left here, and then search for something. For example, I might want to go to learn how to make image occlusion cards. So I can search for that, and then immediately open up the tutorial here. We'll guide you through this step by step, and these will all be customized to what you currently have already used or not in RemNote. They're super easy. If you go to the bottom right question mark, you can also now find some example documents for a variety of subjects, and also a variety of organizational levels. If you want to get some ideas for how to better structure your notes or flashcards, go and give these a brief exploration. Last but not least, we've added a ton of polish and performance improvements throughout the app. Mobile in particular should feel a lot faster now, and syncing should take in most a second or two across devices. We've rebuilt a bunch of the reader on mobile especially, and it should now work nicely on iPad and Android. Tables have also received a bunch of polish and bug fixes, and should now feel even more fun to use. And finally, the sidebar should now load instantly across devices, making it easy for you to immediately open RemNote and then jump into your notes. We're continuing to build RemNote into the easiest way to learn anything and organize your knowledge. Personally, I can't thank you all enough for your support, help, and feedback on this journey. We have a lot in the pipeline, and with this update, I hope that we've made it much easier for you to create your cards and organize them. Happy learning!